First Alert Weather Update is brought to you by Custom Engineering Heating and Cooling. Good Tuesday evening, Mid-Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Chris Eastlick with your Tuesday forecast update. Showers and storms passing through the area tonight, mostly in our northern counties as of 636. Those will eventually be moving off to the south as we go through tonight. They're moving more easterly now, but eventually we'll start moving more southerly. No warnings in place at this time. However, some of these storms have had a history of producing hail. You can see on the southern end of Roscommon County where that reflectivity looks a little bit more white. There's likely some hail being uh, produced by that storm in that area. Also some cloud to ground lightning with some of these showers and storms tonight. But again, no warnings in place at the moment. Our hail size for severe weather is around one inch in diameter. So far we've stayed between pea sized hail and penny sized hail, and I think that's going to be the case with most of these storms tonight. We do have a cold front off to our north and west that will drop down through the area as we go through tonight. That's the reason we are seeing the storm threat a marginal risk for severe weather is in place through roughly about midnight or so because of that hail threat. There may be a slight chance for a few damaging wind gusts as well, but that would be more of the exception. We expect storms to gradually move south through the night. We're still seeing them as of around 9 or 10 o'clock this evening, but by midnight, most of those should be done. There may be a few isolated spotty showers overnight for a brief period of time, but everyone dries out by 7. Cloud cover likely to start the day, but eventually we will clear out. But one thing I want you to take away tomorrow Tomorrow. Notice those northeasterly winds. We will feel that quite a bit tomorrow. Your low temperatures before we get there are falling to the 30s tonight. So already on the cooler side as we work towards tomorrow morning. And then we're even cooler behind the front after that sunny day tomorrow and clear skies tomorrow night. Well, the winds will relax a little bit and that will likely lead to a cool down into the 20s. So a freeze watch is in place for Thursday morning. High temperatures tomorrow also going to be a huge split. Everyone is cooling down quite a bit. Upper 40s to low 50s to the west. Areas like Bad Axe, Port Hope, Sandusky. You may be stuck in the 30s. That could go for Oscoda as well. You add the wind factor in tomorrow and some of those areas could feel like the 20s and 30s at times. But thankfully we do warm up as we head towards the end of the week. We're back in the 60s on Friday, 70s over the weekend. Saturday does have a likely chance for rain. Most of it during the morning. And then Sunday, a few scattered showers, a slightly better chance on Monday will dry out again on Tuesday. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.